Hey, Coach BK. Serpentine swimming. Serpentine swimming is when you do the swim yardage and you are traveling through the lanes. So meaning like if there's 10 lanes, 500, you're going to go up and down, cross under, up and down, cross under the lane line. Kind of like this. Okay, so serpentine swimming you're gonna it's gonna be a rolling swim start so you're going to position yourself by time try to be fairly accurate try to get around kind of confident people that are confident with their swim time you don't want to pass people and you don't want to have people pass you and that will happen um, but you want to be pretty um, pretty accurate with your swim time um, if everybody's kind of accurate with that then it just goes a lot smoother and so rolling swim start you line up and then every three to five seconds a swimmer is going to start so these are only a couple lanes so you start here and you'll get in and say this is left to right you'll swim you'll turn around ideally what happens is as you go underneath the lane line here right at the very end turn around turn at the next wall and then go underneath the lane line and hit the wall here to turn around. And so this works really smooth, okay? You're not running into anybody here because they're being slow or whatnot, okay? This idea is gonna be better with a faster swim time, just in general, because faster swimmers in general kind of know a little bit more about how to navigate this stuff. So just be cognizant if you're around beginners and stuff like that, because kind of sometimes what can happen is, is they will, um, they will come here, they will stop, they will bob under, and then they will go. And so you kind of got to, if you're coming up to somebody, you're right on their tail, you got to have to know that you're, if they stop and bob and go, you're not gonna be able to go under and hit that and not run into them, okay? Because they're gonna take a bit more time right here getting under. So you need to be aware of what's going on right in front of you, how that person is going to travel underneath. So just be mindful of that, okay? And then if you are wanting to pass and you have a swimmer right here and you're right on their heels, you can touch their heels a little bit and then swim to get around them and touch and continue on. If you do this, get your feet past their head before you scooch over, get around them and don't make them slow down um, when you get around them, okay? So if you're gonna pass somebody, pass them because you're gonna pass them, get past, um, be mindful that their feet, your feet are past their head before you scooch over. And then be mindful that if you're here and you're passing someone here, there's a swimmer that could be coming this way. So be mindful about this whole area in passing. And that's kind of why I was saying the projected swim time is important to kind of get right as much as you can so there's not a whole lot of passing going on. Um, the other thing to be mindful of is if people are breaststroking, they are super harder to pass. If people, bigger people, are um, breaststroking and whatnot, it'll be hard to pass. And then when you're crossing in one lane, um, I've gotten hit in the head before. And I've even gotten like my head completely pushed down in the water because of um, an arm, mainly a breaststroking arm. Um, and, and hit the back of my head and pushed my head down. So if something like that happens, just be like, whoop. If you still have your breath, just keep going. It's okay because there's people behind you. Just get the swim finished. Um, I try to, when I'm, I sight a little bit more in serpentine swimming, I like to know who's around me, who's behind me. Um, and if someone is right on my heels and they act like they want to pass, I will scooch over and slow down a smidge. I won't stop my stroke. I'll just slow down a little bit, let them pass, and then continue on. Um, I think that that is all about the serpentine swimming. It's just a little bit more sighting. So um, in practicing going under the lane lines, there's been a couple of times that I haven't done it right and I've caught my head on the back. Um, so get into the pool and practice, you know, you're swimming down that one side, go under, 
get to the wall on the other side, turn around like you would and go back. If you do this sort of kind of all underneath the water and you have that ability because the person in, in front of you is maybe like half a lane in front, half a lap in front of you, which would be perfect. Not half a lap, I'm sorry, half a length in front of you. If you're spaced out like that, it works perfectly. And it's kind of fun. So um, if this is your first serpentine swim, practice going underneath and turning around and not going wide because there could be a person coming on the other side of the next lane. Practice swimming really close to the lane line without hitting your hand. If you hit your hand, just keep swimming, okay? So hope that helps on serpentine swimming. Not as fast.